Hello and welcome to the main cave. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at this mouse. This is the Deluxe Seeker, catchily titled M618XSD. And I'm going to be putting it through its paces. Now as with all my mouse reviews, I'm going to start off straight in with what I like about this mouse and what I don't like. Then after that, if you fancy it, I'll go through in a bit more detail all about it. So what do I like? Well, it looks good. The software, albeit a bit rough around the edges, has plenty of customization. The side scroll wheel, plenty of connections, and finally this, the top screen. It's brilliant. But what I didn't like about it is it does feel a bit cheap and I'm unsure of its long-term quality being from a relatively unknown brand, especially at the retail price. And then there's a couple of other extra little quirks that, well, you'll see in the video. So first up is the unboxing. And although this mouse isn't from a well-recognized brand, it comes in a substantial box, very well packaged. Inside, there's a great velvet bag, detachable wrist rest, braided USB-C cable, spare rear plate, and a limited instruction manual. Overall, I felt pleased with what I paid and is lined with what I got in the box. So speaking of price, this mouse comes in at around £65, which isn't cheap, especially when you see that Logitech, a premium brand, offer a similar ergonomic mouse for a little less than this. So my expectations on it were quite high as for a relatively unknown brand, it needed to show me quality. So onto the look and feel now, and when you first get it out, it looks great. I got the blue, but also comes in white, green, and black. And with either one, you get a large, cool looking RGB at the back rear, which makes it stand out from the crowd. As for the feel, it does feel a bit plasticky. It's very smooth with only grip bridges on the thumb area, but more on that in a bit. The whole thing is plastic with the exception of the rubber feeling scroll wheel. Stats wise, it weighs around 132 grams, 11 centimeters long, 7.5 centimeters at its widest and 8.5 centimeters high. It has a 1000 mAh battery, which is good enough to last weeks on a single charge and ranges from 600 to 7200 DPI which I'll talk about during the software later. Now onto features, and this mouse is stacked. Firstly, the physical features, one thing that you'll get is a removable wrist rest. I personally couldn't really get used to this, but it's nice to have the choice as it's magnetically attached. I used it for a while, but ended up putting it back into the box as I like to have my rest on the desk and spin the mouse. What is really excellent is the horizontal scroll wheel on the side above the thumb position. Since using this mouse, I've come to rely on this, especially when editing videos, and it's to the point where I won't look at a mouse now that doesn't have this feature. It scrolls with some slight vibration feedback to it, but doesn't click inwards, which I feel is right, as the position it's in, it would be tricky to do it without accidentally pressing the left click. Below where your thumb grips are are two assignable buttons. These are light and clicky, and although the rear of the two is easily pressed when moving the mouse, the front of the two requires you to almost stop moving to be able to press it. The main left and right click on the front of the mouse is nicely placed and large. They're very clicky and loud, which you can hear here. In the middle is the vertical scroll wheel, which like the horizontal wheel has a nice subtle clicky feedback. On the front is the USB-C port to charge and to note it can be used and charged at the same time. On the bottom is the sensor, the on off button, the connection toggle switch and a convenient place to store the USB dongle surrounded by two large pads. These pads do a good job at keeping the mouse moving. However, I believe there's a reason there is a tiny bit of desk wobble. It completely negates it when using a mouse mat, however. The Seeker can connect in three ways, wired, Bluetooth of which it can store two devices and a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. I use it predominantly via Bluetooth. It is an office mouse at the end of the day, so I don't need gaming levels of accuracy. And with that, the Bluetooth does a good enough job, but if you want to ensure the best accuracy, you can use the included dongle or the wired USB cable. Both work very well. I've never experienced any major letdown when using any of them. So really, the choice is yours. Small thing, but the dongle isn't the same color as the mouse, and it appears to be the color of the green mouse, but hey. When using Bluetooth or the dongle, it takes around three seconds to connect when switching on, which is great. And it's pretty much instant when using USB, as you'd expect. On the top of the mouse is this thing that really helps elevate this mouth from the rest. It has an LCD screen displaying useful information. It shows how the mouse is currently connected. Here it's for the first of the Bluetooth slots. It also shows the battery level, what DPI you are currently set to, and again, the connection mode. I cannot tell you how convenient this is. Even if it was just the battery level, I'd find it useful, but having the DPI and the connection status is an added bonus. I love this screen. Then behind the screen is a button which you can use to change DPI, but this can be assigned to something else, 
which I'll talk about when going over the software. Then at the back is its biggest cosmetic feature and that's the large RGB panel. This runs the entire back panel of the mouse and you can swap between two magnetic shells. One being solid and it means you don't get RGB and one being patterned to show off all the colors. There is a proximity sensor at the back of the mouse, which means if you have the full back panel on, the RGB doesn't activate. And also when you're using the mouse with the patterned one, as soon as you put your hand on it, it turns off. This is implemented very well and I think really helps the seeker stand out. So seeing this is an ergonomic mouse, this version is for righties only. If you use it left-handed, you won't be able to use this mouse and I haven't actually seen one for left-handed versions as yet. And how does it feel when using it? Well, predominantly it's an office mouse and you won't be gaming with this. And so for the purposes in the office, it does very well. It glides across my mat and is accurate and consistent. An issue I did have is once though, when it connects, it does lag for a second or two before it catches up. But after that, no problems at all. I use the claw grip whereby I only really have my fingertips touching the buttons and it works perfect. Due to the buttons not wrapping over the front of the mouse, if you do have the palm grip, you may need to adjust your grip slightly if you have large hands as your fingers may protrude off the end. Now, as I alluded to earlier, there is software you can use to change the mouse. The software itself is a bit rough around the edges, but it does work. You can change all the buttons, change the RGB colors and patterns, change the five DPI settings and the USB report rate. Overall, it does the job. And even though it looks like it was made in Adobe Paint, it has more functions than a lot of other software I've used, which is a huge plus. So I do have a couple of gripes, albeit quite small. Firstly, due to the angle of grip, it's quite acute, which means when double clicking, you are pressing sideways more than anything. And the left click does need a bit of pressure. So you sometimes I do have a tendency to push the mouse on the first click, meaning you never actually get to register a double click. Finally, you'll see where my thumb is, I put a piece of grip tape. I'd say this has to be essential. Due to the plasticky build, it's really slippery. And especially if you don't have much room on your desk and you move your mouse a lot, you may need to be picking it up and moving it, which is hard without my little mod on. So should you buy this mouse? Well, yes, I bought this initially as I just wanted an ergonomic mouse and was after one using several of which I'm going to be showing on the channel. I keep going back to this one, mainly in part for the horizontal scroll wheel, but also for the RGB and that screen on top. Overall, it's quite a pricey mouse and seeing it's from a brand that isn't as well known as others, I'm unsure as to how long it will last. I just hope it's got a few years use out of it as I really do appreciate this mouse. So have a look in the description then for where you can pick this up. Please do like to subscribe for more mouse videos. If you use one of these, do let me know down in your thoughts below. If you've got any other mice you want me to check out, again, put them in the comments below. Till the next video then, bye-bye.